So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want a the theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and entertainment purpose. Oh, I'm hidden for my bedroom where I'll bed in for tonight. Oh, I'm hidden for my bedroom where I'll lay down, sleep me tight. Oh, hello! Hi here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Docs? How'd you like be the monsters for a change? Yeah! You... You're despicable, Daffy. You're despicable, Bugs. How dare you do that to them? Well, you're the one who decides to have me almost get being up by a snowman. Why you but me? You, you do it. We went around the wrong way. Sorry, my daffy voice sucks. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. This is so hard. You're despicable. That's the best I can do. <laughs> like it's just so normal. But anyway, I tried. So for this one of the Halloween ones for in October, I decided to do is Grimace's first appearance. And that is, um, Hair Rising, um, here. Um, so this one came out in 1946, May, uh, May 25th. Um, we still have, um, Mel, Mel, Mel Blake playing, all, playing both of them. And then we have a caricature of, um, now I will, I need to remember this guy's name of, um, who's here. The one who apparently created Grimace. So it's Peter, um, Lop, turn, so make sure Peter, um, L-O-R-R-R-E. I'll make sure to put a picture of, um, him so you guys know who I'm talking about here and so this one he lures bugs there by bugs hinting about what the joke I just that, that, that showed up later like eh, aren't you wondering if there's somebody ever watching yeah <laughs> so yeah which there is you guys <laughs> and so after Bug sees a toy rabbit that is basically has a um, screw on it and all that just totally hints at, hey Bugs, this is a trap. Don't go with the female bunny. I don't care how cute she is. Do not go with her. Um, to her feet Grimace and goes out and, and um, falls apart right when it gets there after she kisses him and makes a Rude remark about the ladies always fall apart after you kiss them. Like, ha ha ha, very funny. Um, and then the scientist takes her over to, um, take that, he's make Grimace, and then he, like, decides to leave, taking all of the doctor's stuff, all the scientist's stuff, and so they end up going there and then he chases him around the castle 
made him go up the stairs and, and Bugs says, Eh, it's dark in the corner! It's dark up there! <laughs> and then he chases him and, um, around a little bit more. And then and he catches him and, like, makes him look at the screen. And basically, oh, he always tries to, like, give him a manicure and stuff like that. And, um, and then he hits him, like, puts him on top of a can. Keeps saying, I beat this monster again. Ha ha ha. I outsmarted him. So, so, what, at, was it after the third time, the second time, after he's cam, he, um, points at the screen and does that whole entire one word they think that we're, Grandmas gets scared of us instead of we're supposed to be scared of him. <laughs> so, yay. That one was pretty good. I liked it. That's funny. <laughs> that I like the little fourth wall break that we have here. So that's cool. And the next one. So let's see who um animated it. We got the usual people. I think I got pretty much care uh, names up here. And if I don't got pictures of all of them, I'm sorry. Now all of them have pictures on the uh, online. So we got Charles um Joe. Chuck Jones, um, Ted Pierce, who did the story, um, Edward Scissor, who did the producing it, um, music by W. Uh, Cl Claro Starling, and we got Ben Walsing, Ken, um, Ken Harold, Basic Davis. Now, this one I'm going to have to find a picture because the fact that I can't even click on it means a bad thing. <laughs> I can't. This is going to be telling you, telling your one's name, Loris Fagel, Earl, um, so those four did the animation, um, Earl's, um, Kenton did the, back, did the layout, Robert, um, Gilson did the backgrounds, so yeah. Let's see which... Uh, movies that start in front of and where you can watch it. So, um, it does not say which theater, which movie played in front of it. Could be any movie, I guess. So, this one you can find out available on the issue of Looney Tunes Golden Collection D um, DV box released on the three, on this three of Looney Tunes Golden Volume 1. The shorts of features of the documentary, uh, part of it, and this of Laser Disc, The Golden Age of Looney Tunes Volume 1. You also got um, Halloween, Bugs Bunny's Halloween Special, and also um, Plasma Collection Volume 3. So there you go. Um, so, yep, Grimace has been used a lot. Anytime they want like a big monster, they use him. So, let's go and do the next one. What's one that's more... This one's not really that scary. It's more of, um... Let's see. Do I need that? Not, we, hold on, I'm going to pause this. Alright, so this one's called the Abominable Snow Rabbit. Now, this one came out May 20th, 1961. What is with these two ones coming out in May? <laughs> um, so, Bugs and um, Daffy are looking to go and have a little vacation at the and this is the wrong place. They're looking to have it like at a at the Bahamas, basically, or, or another place. Instead, they end up how they end up in the Himalayas, and Bugs turned, did the wrong turn again. Oh darn! I didn't turn that left turn of Albuquerque. <laughs> Why is it always Albuquerque? Um, so they end up in the Himalayas. Um, Daffy does not listen to a word Bugs is saying, and jumps into. Um, a block of ice and get himself a concussion, probably. And so he decides to leave Bugs and tell him, Aunt, like, 
You're despicable. Don't do any more favors. Like, do me a favor, don't do me more favors. And then he leaves Bugs there. And sees an abominable snowman who, like, thinks he is a rabbit because he's wearing um, a little, um, he's wearing a bathing suit and then his sleeves end up on the top of him, make him look like he has ears. So, and then the bo the abominable um, snowman looks, okay, his voice is not too deep, so let's see. <clears throat> oh, I'll call him Ju- uh, well, my little bunny, um, I'm gonna call him George and I'll hug him and I'll squeeze him and stuff like that. That sounds more like Goofy, but I guess it will work. <laughs> um, anyway, this, after that, but they definitely says, you're hurting me. <laughs> Put me down, I'm not a bunny. I'll go get you a bunny and what does Daffy do? Oh, he does, the, what he usually does is, and being an asshole. Like, definitely here he is being an asshole. He deserves what he's getting at him. He had deserved what he had before. Because the fact that Bugs led him the wrong direction. Yes, he should be mad at Bugs. Lead him the wrong direction. But not have him get beat up. Like this. Nobody deserves this, okay? Not right now. Okay? Dab, he is not, he did not trick you into being shot by Bugs. Elmer, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, he does not deserve it in this cart, Tim. So, after he br brings him to Bugs, but he does the same exact thing to Bugs, oh, I will call him George, and then d does the same exact thing. And then Bugs gets put down and and says, and then he, like, ties up his ears and put like does like puts his fingers up behind Daff and says, here's your bunny. <laughs> like, ask him, what is a bunny? What's the material characteristics of a bunny? But Daffy does, and this bugs is like tying his ears and this puts it up and like, <laughs> and then wins. And after that, he, um, they follow him back to the Bahamas and poor, the poor Bumble Snowman melts. You guys killed them! What the heck? <laughs> After Bug, after Daffy gets squeezed again. So, poor Bumble Snowman, he just wanted a new friend. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see who, um, what's different about this one? Still Tuck Jones. We have, um, Marbert Norse. Remember, still probably won't be able to get pictures of all these guys. Um, Ted Pierce, um, producer by. David H. DeBall and um, John W. Bottom, and now f and the still uh, Mel Blank doing all three of them. Um, we got music by um, Mitt Franklin, different guy. Let's see who's different here. Um, we have Kent still doing the one animation. Um, Tom Ray, Bob, um, band form. Richard Thomas. Okay, so that's basically it. Let's see where you can watch this if you don't want to look up online like I did. Um, let's see. Um, Bobble is included on the Looney Tune Golden Classic Collection, Volume 5. Um, we have Go to Grand... And it's also on one of the... On the Olsen Twins, um, Go to Grandma. And play, I guess I place in front of that one. Um, we have Daffy Duck's quarter bucklet. One of the parts of Bugs and Daffy's travels to the Him the Himalayas. So yeah, there you guys go. I know the second one's not that scary, but it's funny. <laughs> so yeah, this first one. Really, both these are not that scary if you're an adult, but you just want you want some to laugh at during the time of the year. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah. So I don't. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do a character history because I haven't I haven't done that in a while. I did I just did a video game. So now I need to do a character one. So see you guys later. 
I'm probably going to do Hazel, because since there's two different Hazels, so I'll be covering both Disney and um, Water Brothers. That'd be fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. And, yeah. Baby, baby, that's all, folks.